I would either your cunning fail or your fortune might by simples provoke my lady to some slumber. My simples are in operation as is my simplicity, which if they can do little good, assuredly they can do no harm. If I were sick, the very sight of thy fair face would drive me into a sound sleep. Well, let us in. Fayo is here. Fayo. Fayo. Um, let him come near. But who sent for him? You, madam. I am loath to take any medicines. Yet must I, rather than pine in these maladies. Fayo. You may make me sleep. If I can, I must. If you will. What herbs have you brought, Feo? Such as will make you sleep, madam, though they cannot make me slumber. Why? How can you cure me when you cannot remedy yourself? Yes, madam, the causes are contrary. For it's only dryness in your brains that keepeth you from rest, but... But what? Nothing. But mine is not so. Nay, then I despair of help, if our disease be not all one. I would our diseases were one. It goes hard with the patient when the physician is desperate. <laughs> Yet Medea made the ever-waking dragon to snore when she, poor soul, could not wink. Day was in love, and nothing could cause her rest but Jason. Indeed, madam, but I know no herb to make lovers sleep, but heart's ease. It's because it grows so high I cannot reach for... For whom? For such as love. It groweth very low. And I can never stoop to it that... Yeah. What? That I might gather it. Oh. oh, but why do you sigh so, Feo? It is my use, madam. Oh, it will do you harm, and me too, for I, I never hear one sigh, but I must sigh also. Well, the best, your ladyship, if you give me leave to be gone, for I can but sigh. Nay, stay. For now I begin to sigh, I shall not leave, though you be gone. But what do you think best for your sighing to take it away? You, madam. Me? No, madam, you of the tree. <laughs> then will I love only you. And I do believe it could make me sleep too. Therefore, set all other simples aside. I will simply use only you. Do, madam. For I think nothing in this world so good as you. Farewell. For this time. Is not your name Feo? Feo? Fair Venus, whom you made so fair. Surpassing fair. Oh, fair Feo. Oh, sweet Feo. What wilt thou do for Venus? Anything that cometh in the compass of my poor fortune. Cupid shall teach thee to shoot, and I will instruct thee to dissemble. I shall learn anything but dissembling. Why, my boy? Because then I must learn to be a woman. Thou heardest that of a man. Men speak truth. But truth is a she. And so always painted. I think a painted truth. Well, farewell for this time, for I must visit Sappho. Sappho, I've heard thy complaints and pitied thine agonies. Oh, Venus, my cares are only known to thee, and by thee only came the cause. Cupid, why didst thou wound me so deep? My mother bade me draw my arrow to the head. Venus, why didst thou prove so hateful? Cupid took a wrong shaft. Oh, Cupid, too unkind to make me so kind that I almost transgressed the modesty of my kind. I was blind and could not see mine arrow. Be not dismayed. 
Theo shall yield. If he yield, then shall I shame to embrace one so mean. If not, die, because I cannot embrace one so mean. Thus do I find no mean. Well, I will work for thee. Farewell. Farewell, sweet Venus. And thou, Cupid, which art sweetest in thy sharpness. <laughs>